Hey guys, it's Denise here and welcome to my channel, NOLA Collectibles. I'm here today to do a thread up mixed rescue box. I'm super excited. I haven't done one of these in a really long time, mostly because I haven't been able to get my hands on one. So these are available through the rescue site of ThreadUp's website and they come up completely random. You don't know when they're going to become available. And currently uh, they are offering 15 pieces of jewelry for the price of $48. And so this is one is from, I'm looking at the box right here. It's from Suwanee, Georgia. So that's exciting. I do enjoy that location. And so let's get right into it. I'm going to open this, this guy up and I'm seeing several bags. <laughs> I'm seeing several bubble wrapped bags. I'm going to take some of these out and let's just get right into it. I think, shall we zoom in just a hair? I think we should. Let's get right into it. My name is Denise, NOLA Collectibles. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell primarily on eBay. My shop name there is also NOLA Collectibles. It's all jewelry related. I am a jewelry collector, enthusiast, and, and reseller. So uh, I've always had a passion for jewelry. And so this is a good way for me to kind of parlay my passion into a side hustle. What's better than that? Okay, so I'm, I'm just getting some stuff here. It's a little bit tangled, but the first thing that came out of that bag was this big, huge, chunky bracelet here. And you can see this is just kind of this uh, antique brass, super, super heavy. This is, to me is looking very J. Crew. Ooh, can I get this open? Yes. What a nail breaker. Yes, <laughs> that is J. Crew. So we have a little, like a big little, a, a big chunky flower motif bracelet here. We've got the four flowers going straight across and they've got some cute little rhinestone centers in there as well. You can see the antique brass color is looking like that. Very typical J. Crew. And so, yeah, this is nice. These guys, I can imagine something like that probably retailing <laughs> Probably for 40 something, almost $50, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm gonna move this, should we move this away? Yeah, let's move that away. Um, yeah, J. Crew Jewelry had a, a very high kind of initial retail price. So uh, that is that, that's nice. I like that a whole lot, not bad, not bad. And then I'm seeing here, oh, this is cool. I was gonna say, this is a Brighton piece of jewelry. I have a two-tone Brighton piece of jewelry here, this really nice looking necklace. It's in very good condition. You can see it's got pearl detail in each of the middle of each of these stations. And we have kind of a brushed gold kind of look there. Then we have a typical Brighton swirl pattern there. And then what I, what I was reacting to, which is very nice, is they went ahead and they attached the matching earrings there. So this is kind of like two pieces of Brighton jewelry. And we have the signature Brighton heart right there with the lobster claw clasp also in the heart, also very indicative of Brighton style. So yeah, that's nice too. That's a very nice necklace. It's in good condition. It looks nice and new. Uh, the only thing you need to kind of like look out for with Brighton jewelry is the silver plating. Since Brighton is silver plated, um, sometimes you will see quite a bit of wear on Brighton jewelry if it's, uh, you know, if it's well loved. Um, in here, I also have this rhinestone silver tone bracelet here with a blue rhinestone and a toggle clasp closure. And this one, it says Carol Lee right here on the bar, right here on the clasp. It says Carol Lee. So uh, Carol Lee jewelry kind of, um, I would say is kind of like a Macy's brand is what I would equate it to. It's it's in very nice condition, but um, unfortunately not a particularly high resale value on Carol Lee jewelry, even though it's very nice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this bracelet. You can see actually it has some remnants here of the original tag. So probably this was never even worn. So I think it is, like I said, silver tone. It is a very nice bracelet and there's nothing wrong with it. I like the detail here on the side of the toggle clasp. You can see there's rhinestones there as well, um, but just not a particular the high resale value. But, you know, I will do my due diligence and um, research that just to make sure, because you never know, right? You always have to double check everything. Um, today, I just have um, a really fun Alexis Bittar uh, Lucite clamper bracelet with a gold detail on. And I actually got that bracelet at my thrift store. They have bags of bangle bracelets that they sell for like $4. It's mixed bangle bracelets. And I just, I always check them out when I'm in the thrift store because I find Bakelite in them and other goodies like Alexis Bittar. So uh, that was a great find in there. 
Lastly, in this little particular baggie of goodies from ThreadUp, I have this Lucite gold tone kind of medallion necklace here, and this one is Ann Taylor Loft. And that's, that's very cute, that looks like that. We have a gold tone finish on that, and it just looks kind of like a cool composite Lucite or acrylic centerpiece right there. So I remember this style definitely had a moment. You remember they sold earrings like this and pendants, everything. I mean, tons of earrings. I remember there were so many iterations of earrings that look like that. Um, so that's not bad. It's in good condition, nice and shiny. We're not seeing any kind of like real wear on there. So that's not bad. And um, I'm going to go into the next little package here. And I'm seeing more Brighton. Brighton bag. And is this going to be the box of Brighton? Could be. Could be. Let's see. Got some tangly necklaces. They just threw all these necklaces together and like... They're not really separated or anything, so the jewelry, so it's all tangled together. There's just a few zippies, you know, like zippies, um, padded envelopes in there. Okay, let's see what's in this Brighton bag. I like that the bag is included, that's nice. We have, what will it be, what will it be now? It's my, my Fred Up mystery song, mystery jewelry song. It is another piece of Brighton jewelry. And this one has, this one is upside down. This one goes like this. Kind of these like large stations here with swirled Brighton design. Um, it's cool. It's kind of got like a little bit of a like a Art Nouveau kind of look to it. You could see the detail on there um, with the geometric kind of aspects of this. That's interesting. And it's got the nice, this to me is looking like a little bit of an older piece of Brighton jeweler and jewelry. And the reason why I say that is because they used to put the, um, these like hang tags, like what are the, one of the stations used to be a hang tag on the back of the necklace. So, um, this is very nice. And then we've got some kind of copper beading detail there and some crystals in between. Uh, again, this one's actually in good condition as well. I'm not seeing any silver plating loss. And then we have a matching pair of J-hook earrings that look like this. So we have another set of Brighton jewelry right here. And I'm totally cool with that because the Brighton, Brighton jewelry continues to sell for me. So I'm absolutely 100% okay with getting more Brighton jewelry. So let's let's make a little room here. I do like this one. I think that's a nice looking Brighton necklace. And we'll move that guy over there, make room for all the newness. And so here we have what looks to be another piece of J. Crew jewelry. And this one is a really pretty uh, matte blue statement necklace in that again the antique kind of gold finish that j crew always does their jewelry in it's got the j crew hang tag right there and this is in excellent condition very nice looking like that and j crew jewelry definitely um talking about brands that have kind of softened in terms of sale j crew definitely has softened for me as well i used to be um used to move much more quickly now it's kind of sitting for a while and there's a it's a very saturated market so um you know j crew it had its heyday back when jenna lyons was a creative director and it definitely had a huge moment um i think in retail, but uh, I know she, she left. She's no longer the creative director there. And at the brand, I, I think it had some financial issues and seems to have fizzled out um, quite a bit. I know the CEO used to be Millard Mickey Drexler. I don't know if he if he still is or if he left too. You know, everyone likes to jump ship when the ship goes down. Um, <laughs> another J. Crew necklace. This one, a geometric statement necklace here. And this one, it's cool. Just trying to straighten this out here. I think it's cool. I think it's a, a good looking necklace. We have uh, these kind of dangling stations here and, and, and geometric detail. And once again, in that kind of J. Crew antique gold finish. So we've got two Brighton necklaces and two, three now, three J. Crew pieces, including that bracelet over there. So um, again, another nice piece of J. Crew jewelry right there. Sure, I'll take it. Um, and 
another piece of Brighton jewelry. And so this one, a silver tone, very heavy necklace here, and all of the action is meant to be worn right here in the middle. So we have a big oversized uh, toggle clasp meant to hang in front. And it's got a little dangle there. And this guy is does not uh, it does not have the hang tag but it has the signature hearts on the back and it's got the signature b on the back so another piece of brighton jewelry this is the bright this is the brighton j Clue box um I'm, I'm not mad about that you know because honestly um the Sewanee, Georgia location always gives me the goods like better goods than at least Mechanicsburg Pennsylvania like I, I feel like I get a lot of no-name jewelry that comes from Mechanicsburg and then at least the Sewanee um the quality from Sewanee just seems to be better like it seems to be less worn items that type of thing um so anyway last necklace in that little baggie is this one right here and this is just a gold tone necklace with again kind of a faux tortoise little dangle right there and then we have a circular gold tone one there and this one is also j crew is this j crew yes also j crew so another j crew necklace and again that's just a multi-chain with the faux tortoise dangle and the gold tone dangle there so also in very very good condition i will just put this one right here with its other j crew friends and let's keep going. I have one more little baggie and a box. Let's go for the box because why not? This is a, this red box here. This is Rowan. Ooh, two things inside here, I think. Yes, this is what's inside. So let's see what we've got in this little uh, envelope. This little baggie here. What is this? These are the teeniest of tiniest earrings I've ever seen. And... Hold on a second. I don't have my loop, you guys. I'm not prepared. Um, what does this say? Is this saying 14 karat gold? I'm gonna let's let's come in close and see if we can pick it up on the. Is that saying 14 karat gold? I, I I'm not 100 sure. Hold on. The back says 925. So this could be the teeniest, tiniest of tiny. <laughs> earrings um and they are 925 so we've got these little baby j hook earrings here and they have a little bit of a um a crystal detail on the front they are teeny teeny tiny like i said and those guys are looking like that so a teeny tiny pair of little baby earrings right there that's interesting <laughs> And this Rowan, I don't know what this is. There's a, there's like a little vanity card in here, which I know I will not, I don't know if it comes out. I will not, I know I can't, I will not be able to get that out. So I'll deal with that at another time, but I'm going to see what's in here. Okay. Here we have on card. It says uh, gold vermeil, gold verme, Rowan earrings. And they're like little, almost like a stud they kind of look like the tops of a nail head, don't they? Like if you had a flathead <laughs> screwdriver. Um, I don't know, marked with a number 38 on the back. Unsure if that's the price of these earrings, but pretty basic. Maybe those little baby earrings go with these, and maybe that's why they kind of stuck them in here together. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not familiar with this brand. It's got a hang tag with like little flowers on it that looks like that. Have you ever heard of this brand, Rowan? It strikes me as almost um, one of those brands that you get like in a subscription box. I'm trying to see if I can pull this vanity card out. If it, if it even is a vanity card, it could just be like if I rip apart this box. <laughs> but okay, so we have that pair of earrings. I'll have to do a little bit more research. Like I said, I'm not familiar with that brand. So um, we'll need to learn more, but it's nice that they're in the box and they're kind of like giftable ready, should we say, shall we say? Going in here, this last, last one. And what am I seeing? What do I see? I see there's a coach bangle bracelet in here. Uh, this one is a silver tone and it says coach poppy. Coach Poppy? Coach Poppy. Is that like, hey, Poppy, and he's your coach? Unsure. Coach Poppy. 
uh, looks legitimate, um, nicely made. Uh, a lot of coach stuff is, uh, there's a lot of fakes out there, especially with the bangle bracelets. You need to be careful when you get the pieces. Um, how you can usually tell is the enameling will look thicker and the band will look thicker. And um, with the coach logo, how you wanna tell real coaches, one get dead giveaway I think always is when you're looking at the coach logo here, get in really tight. I don't know if we can. The A should always come to a point. Uh, a lot of fakes, it will be squared off. So it will not be kind of a triangle A, it will be squared off. Um, so that's always a good way to kind of look at your coach items and make sure that they're authentic. One of the ways. Um, but like I said, I think the enamel work here too is uh, very nicely done. It's nice and clean and uh, it looks high quality. The bangle is on the thinner side. So uh, all all of those signs and symbols point to yes to me, and so this is a this is cute. This is a cute. It's an excellent excellent condition. It's nice and clean, and you can see there's the logo there on the front as well. This is nice. I don't know what po Coach Poppy is, so I'll have to just like look that up. Could be from a specific collection. Who knows? So we have that. That's a nice Coach Coach Bangle bracelet. And then there's another bangle bracelet in here, and this is an Alex and Ani from 2017, and it says, be guided by the universal patterns you recognize in your life, and is a chevron, chevron design zigzag, and this one is just a cuff. So that one, it kind of looks the same color as the coach. They were together. So we have an Alex and Ani cuff bracelet here that and what else do we have here let's see <laughs> right. so, so this is kind of lame <laughs> um a pair uh, we have a set of francesca's earrings i just say that because francesca's is like pretty much a, a lower priced um you know like mall brand and so um i don't know maybe they consider that an extra or i don't know if they consider that one actual item and then what i'm seeing here is I was reacting to I was like oh I have a bag of watch links but there is a watch and so the watch is a silver tone Michael Kors watch and it looks like that it's got a nice big face on it uh in good condition no scratches to the crystal right there nice looking shiny modern just looking at the case back on there that guy, a big, uh, big heavy Michael Kors watch, and they very nicely included the extra links. So whoever had this sized, uh, if you need a larger wrist, you have a larger wrist size, and you need those extra links, the option to add those back in is there. So that is the last piece of jewelry here. Let's see how, let's see how they deliver. Like one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think we're right at, we're right at 15. So I guess they did count the Frank, the lame Francesca earrings as an item. <laughs> but overall, I don't think this is a bad selection of, of goods. I think this is a very nice Michael Kors watch. This coach bangle is actually very, very nice and excellently conditioned. The J. Crew necklaces are nice. The um, Brighton piece is definitely nice as well. This is a, a cute bracelet. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, this we're not talking 14 karat gold and, and David Yerman, but I think some nice name brand items that were in very, good, very good condition. Um, let me know what you all think. Um, have you gotten a thread up box recently? Has it been good? Are we still doing thread up? Are we doing blue box? I've kind of sworn off the blue box a little bit, especially since they did a price increase on them again, which is kind of, kind of BS in my opinion. Um, <laughs> so they're now going to be $50 a box, the Goodwill blue boxes with the shipping, which I think is a, a lot of money for five pounds of of risk taking essentially, you know, it's fun. It's always fun to, to do the dig and then hope you get something, but I've had some zonks. I've had some real zonks um, in Goodwill blue boxes. So I've been slowing my speed on those items, but let me know what you all think. And if you're still doing mystery boxes, um, if you're gonna be doing the blue box, what you think of the blue box. And, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in um, as usual. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you at the next one, bye.